So in case y'all didn't know, DVD has this uh, really cool license with Attack on Titan. I think one of the first like anime manga sort of like crossover things that we have. This has never happened before. So we, we have cosmetics that are inspired from the Attack on Titan universe. Uh, I'm very really excited about it <clears throat> because Meg Thomas has a cosmetic and I'm a Meghead at heart, okay? Like, at the end of the day, I know we've been playing a lot of Nancy. You know, he's a Nancy main, but down deep inside, I'm still a Moggers, and I will still collect the Moggers uh, cosmetics. Yes? Yes. All right. Also, uh, we've had some updates to some perks. The new progression system is in play right now. And then there's a lot of other changes, they say. Uh, generators now take longer to repair. Following killer actions have been sped up. Kicking pallets and walls. Kicking generators and the cooldown after a successful hit. Survivors now get a speed boost and endurance for a short time after being unhooked. Built in borrowed time. This is what this just said to me. Built in I'm going to say it again. Built in borrowed time. Finally. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes that makes me a little happy. I'm not going to lie. These are very big changes to DBD. This is like integral changes. This is like the core of the game has just been shook a shook. That's the best description I can come up with. It's been shook a shook. Shook a shook. <laughs> everything you knew about DVD, forget about it. Maybe not everything, but most things. Things have changed. The cap for blood points is now 2 million instead of 1 million. Uh, you can proceed your character up to 100 times. That's incredible. Oh! Proceeding no longer removes any items, add-ons, offerings, perks, or perk slots. Holy shit. <laughs> shook a shook. We have been shook a shook. You know what this means? I can finally prestige my Meg and get bloody cosmetics and not lose all of her special like i had all these items from like a long ass time ago i didn't want to prestige her because you know i've had her since you know the beginning since i started playing dvd and i was like i'm not gonna lose any of these items i'm not prestiging her but now with this change you can just prestige your character and you're not gonna lose out in anything and the grind that means the grind for it is much less because you don't have to work as hard to get your stuff back or your perks because apparently you still keep the perks when you prestige teachable perks uh perks have been removed from the blood web and have been tied to prestiging characters does this mean that you can no longer unlock teachable perks from the blood web it has to be that means it has to be like you have to prestige the character to unlock it for all your characters to have it in their blood web i think that's how that works now so instead of having it show up in your blood web as like an orange obnoxious little perk that you had to get to unlock for all your other survivors or killers or whatever now those are gone and instead you unlock those teachable perks you prestige that particular character and unlock it unlock those perks that way and to unlock the perks for your survivor then you would just level them up as normal and collect your perks from the blood web but the un the teachable perks themselves have been removed in place of this new system this is a completely new system like this is a big fucking deal so i'm like i'm walking through it hopefully to explain it a little better for people uh even just even for myself you know like because i 
I wasn't really paying attention to what they were doing. I wanted, I heard from their, you know, live stream what they had planned. And I was just like, as soon as it's on the live server, we're going to take a look at it and break it down. Uh, because once it's here, then it's here for a little while. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, the Shrine of Secrets. Okay, so they take they take away the teachable perks from the Shrine of Secrets. But if you purchase a perk from the Shrine of Secrets now, it unlocks that perk on all killers and survivors at the displayed tier level. Interesting. So does th this implies that it might give like random levels of perks in the Shrine of Secrets? So wait, so let me get this straight. So you could literally be like, oh, I'm sitting here waiting for, you know, Iron Will, you know? But then it shows up in the shrine as level one. And you're just like, well, I guess that's better than nothing. That kind of sucks. That means, no, I feel like that, that should not be the case with Shine of Secrets. The Shine of Secrets is like, so it should be a gift from the entity. It's supposed to be something that like the entity is like, oh, this will help you a little bit more, you know, to do what I want you to do, which the entity always wants, you know, the game, the game is what the entity desires, of course, right? But the perks is, what am I point? It should be three. Level three, 100% of the time. <laughs> Unless there's something about this system that I don't understand yet. Just looking at it from the service level right now, I'm kind of like, no, it should be two or three all the time. Matchmaking incentives when the survivor killer ratio. Okay, yes. So basically, they're incentivizing one side or the other depending on how active it is. That's great. We've been asking for that for years. Years. It's been asked for long, long time. <laughs> and it's finally here. Super exciting. So yeah, so they incentivize one role over the other depending on you know what they need if there are more survivors than killers they'll incentivize the killer side and vice versa we love that that's what we've been asking for as a player base for a long time and then uh apparently some known issues oh apparently a fangmin cosmetic causes a cr causes crashing and then something about stadia and the archive video not working okay um so yeah this is pretty exciting so let's talk about the progression system we just talked about it uh by uh, completing a 50th blood web level lets you proceed to character yeah we figured that out um the level one two and three version of their perks are given to all other characters each prestige after that unlocks unique portraits and cosmetics for that character nothing is lost when you prestige a character that character retains all of their purchased perks, items, add-ons, and offerings. Prestige as often as you can. So you can prestige up to 100 times. So keep that in mind. That is the maximum amount of times you can prestige a character with this new progression system. Very exciting. And here we are in the Attack on Titan promo screen here. If you are not familiar with Attack on Titan... It is actually a very good story. I highly recommend it. It's an anime manga about alternate times in a world very cruel. It's a very dark story. I have a hard time getting through some of the episodes. Was a slow vault, medium vault, whatever it was. I don't like that it was doing that to me. Very awkward. All right, I'm taking. Oh, he wants to go back. Kind of got a little lost doing that. 
Yeah, he's coming right back for y'all. That borrowed time built in is so nice. Mark of the Damned, how are you? Zangro, you potato. Pourquoi potato? Why you do this? BT, that was his butt. Listen, I was waiting for him to turn around to face me, you know? <laughs> run! Run, my dude! <laughs> This is not a good place to be. Like in the safest place he could be though. <laughs> Twice this has happened. Uh -oh. It's not good. Come over here with me. Be greedy. Alright. There we go. We're gonna just reset. It's gonna be fine. We're under everything is under control. Sangro! Are you doing this on purpose? I feel like this. <laughs> Just let the stinky be a stinker in the basement. He keeps kind of going back and forth between us and the basement. So I'm just going to kind of go around this way. I know Voorhees is kind of going around that way. Okay. Okay. Woo! What the fuck? I great it's just sitting there trying to get a fucking item out of the chest. What the fuck? Oh shit. I, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna just uh you can't, you can't hit me over that. No way, no way, no how. No way, no how. Please! Thank you! <laughs> that was super awkward. All right, he's kind of just watching between the gen and the hook here. Hey, friend. This way. Not too cozy though. I tried to take the hit between. Oh shit. Uh... And also, I don't think I get to Igrena in time. Oh, wow, just barely. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, he just doesn't care about me at all. He just wants you. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, there's no way. 
I'm just frustrated that I wasn't able to get that, uh, oh my gosh, you're crazy. You're actually insane. Unfortunately, Zengro's at the other door. So yeah, you're gonna have to just leave, I think. Yeah, I think you just leave. Before Blood Warden rocks. <laughs> GG's. I know. It's okay. It happened. It was just a really rough match for us. But that's okay. 